watching the video because I'm about to edit it. Either I'm tired, but it looks like I have a lazy eye. Oh my god. <laughs> so, welcome back to my channel. Let me fix you guys. So, excuse all of that in the background. Okay, but uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about just my experiences with God and basically this is like every time i come on here it's like i'm doing a life update a life update but i'm not gonna call it that this time because i already have like two of those on my channel i think maybe just one i don't know but i have a lot so i'm gonna be telling you guys about like just how god's been speaking to me and my new, my next plans and just like how god's been moving in my life so basically um where do i start one day i was going to bible study and i was riding the light rail and i couldn't like how do i say this okay so i was like in a hurry i was in a rush so out of nowhere i was on the light rail and out of nowhere it stops when it wasn't supposed to stop nobody could get off so I was like, okay, I already automatically knew, already automatically, I already knew that God was trying to speak to me, that he wanted to speak to me. So I was like, okay, God, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to minister me, minister to me? Please speak to me. So it was right in front of my eyes. It was a sign that said stop. So then I was like, okay, stop. And then I heard slow down. Then God was like, stop and slow down. I was like, mm, okay, what do you want me to slow down about? So, I went to the Bible study, and it was confirmed. She basically said, God wants you to slow down. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was like, okay, God. I see what you're doing. So, then I talked to my mentor. I was like, see, I don't want to slow down. That's the honest truth. I didn't want to slow down. And it's like, also, sometimes it's hard to be obedient because our plans, like, are nowhere it's like doesn't kind of align with God's plans. It's because our plans are from our flesh and our earthly desires. And we just don't know. Like God has so much better in store for us. Mm, gosh, like my setup. It's okay. We're going to get better. But basically, yeah, I was like, I don't want to slow down. It just doesn't. It's not what I want to do. So, yeah, we just don't know that God has so much better in store for us. When we aren't obedient, we don't get to experience God's glory in, like, the full, like, 100%. Like, I hope that makes sense. But, yeah, so, then I was like, okay, what do you want me to slow down about? So, I'll just ask her to pray for me. So, then, after that, after that, um... I got invited to this retreat to go on to meet other Christians and it was all ladies retreat. We we're gonna talk about God. So I wanted to go, but then I found out that my mentor wasn't going. So I was like, mm -mm. I don't wanna go there. Like I literally said, um, I don't wanna be going there with everybody having somebody to talk to and I don't have anybody to talk to. So she's like, Samaya, it's literally for you to meet new people. So I was like, fine, whatever. Like, I didn't want to go. And this was in the mountains. And let me just put this fun fact out there. The, like a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, I was reminiscing about how I miss going camping and miss going to the mountains and how I don't know if I was ever going to do that again. And God blessed me with that too. So he was listening to me. So then I decided to go to the mountains, right? And so... I was being attacked by the enemy while I was up there, but I didn't let it like last for too long or affect me for too long. And I was like, I was just in a sad place or had a sad moment. And then after that, I prayed about it, spoke in tongues and I got better. So then I, I was gonna go on a hike with these group of girls. And when I went on the hike, it was fun. Like it was, I love hiking and going to the mountains and, you know, just exploring nature and stuff like that. So, when I came back from the hike, y'all. When I came back from the hike. When I tell you, God is so clear when he wants to get a message to you. And he'll keep delivering it, delivering it, delivering it, right? It'll just be in your face. Tagging on to your spirit. Like, God does not play. Like, so, 
when I came back from the hike, I was walking down in the trail. I saw a rock that said, slow down. It had the words written on it, slow down. I was like, there's no way. I picked up the rock and I went to take it. But as proof or just like a little piece of my testimony. But then there was like, mm, it's probably there for a reason. So I was like, yeah, like it's going to be in my heart. The memory is going to be in my heart. So, you know, then when I woke up the next morning or no, I told my mentor, then we prayed about it. And when I woke up the next morning, I was like waiting for God to tell me what he wanted me to slow down about. So I'm thinking something extreme. But when I go to the bathroom, I know it's weird, but this is really how things work. So I get up from the bathroom or leave the bathroom and then boom, it's like God wants me to slow down in life because he doesn't want me to like miss the memories and stuff. Or he doesn't want me to look back later in life and be like, dang, I wish I would have just been more present. So that's what he wants me to do. Be more present. So, yeah, he confirmed that, right? Because he told me to slow down. This is why he told me to slow down. Because I'm constantly on the go. Like, I'm just one thing to the next. Like, that's just how I've been, like, moving and stuff. And he just wants me to, like, be present. And he also told me that I need to do mindful mindfulness and stuff, like, with the five senses. Five senses, like, mindful meditation. So, yeah. Then, um, when I came home from the retreat... I saw, got this quote from this motivational app, and it, I think it said, don't be in such a rush, embrace the now, or embrace the present, basically, God was telling me to slow down again, to, like, stop being on the go, 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 and stop rushing, boom, then, another quote happened, it said, stop, or it said, I give my permission, I give myself permission to slow down, I was like, that's crazy, that's crazy, then it's like i'm trying to slow down i'm trying my best too but when i'm stuck in a routine it's like hard to get out of but god's been telling me, talking to me that way and guys i'm sorry if this video is all over the place i don't think i want to edit this because editing i got lazy with the editing but anyways next one so, this is how God's been talking to me again, y'all. I was like, we're getting our relationship right again because it was a little rocky in September. But, basically, wait, was it September? It was rocky in September, August. Yeah. So, basically, I was talking to God. I was like, God, this one person, I just want to cut them off. I'm not going to say yeah, I want to cut this person off of my life. And it's like been good times and bad times. And I was like telling God, I don't know what I should do. Like, I feel if I do cut them off, it's I, I'm going to feel guilty. But that's because my heart, I guess, my heart posture. But then I was telling God, like, if I keep them in my life, I know I'm going to be like stressed. And the only way I could truly forgive them is if I cut them off. So, I was telling my, my, um, I told God that, and then I went to the, the, I went to school the next day, and I told my psychologist that, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what to do, like, what questions would you ask yourself when considering to cut somebody off, and I wrote them down, and so, when I got to my third period, I checked my phone, and y'all, it says, another quote, don't feel guilty about doing what's best for you. And I was just talking about how, like, cutting them off would be what's best for me, but I'll feel guilty. So I was like, oh, yeah, God just keeps talking to me. And let me tell you guys why. So I told God, I'm going to give him, I said, God, I'm going to give you two months, two months. No social media, no secular music. And it's kind of been a struggle, but not, not too hard, not too hard. So I'm going to give God two months. I remember the last time I gave God just a month, and he was working. Like, he worked so much in my life. He switched so many things around. Now I'm giving God two months, and I want to see what he does. So, no, I haven't been on social media. I deleted TikTok. I told them, I'm going to be back in December, y'all. So, I deleted Instagram, Snapchat, and deleted, like, some songs out of my Apple Music. 
and only been listening to gospel. And y'all, when I tell you that gospel is encouraging, it's like, it's active in my life. Like, I don't know, it just gives me hope and it just like makes my day positive. But I told God, I'm gonna give you two months. So I've been on this two month journey. I started it, I wanna say the 27th and it's gonna end December 1st. So, I mean, like, I can even do little updates here, but, on here, but I'm not consistent. I only post when the Holy Spirit tells me to. So, yeah. But, yeah, I just, I've been, like, I wrote down my two-month journey, and I'm, like, like, crossing out the days. And here I'm praying. I think I'm going to try to fast, but... We'll just see how this goes. I'm going to be going to college in January, graduating in December. So technically, I am class of 2021, but it's just weird how it all played out. And basically, my two-month journey, I want to, like, grow closer to God so he could prepare me for this. Because in college, there's, like, cults. There's, um, like, I don't want to be distracted again and start drifting. I got to stay anchored, so... These two months, I'm just going to grow closer with God. And so he could prepare me for college. And so I could, like, submit all my plans to him. And he could just tell me guidance. Like, he could guide me on the right career I'm supposed to do. The right people and connections. And, yeah. But, guys, if you really watch my videos, like, for the people that be watching my videos... I want to say thank you because I don't be doing anything but talking. But if you like listening to me talk, thank you. And all the new subscribers, thank you. I thought I was going to stay at like 157 because that's what I was at. But you guys need to subscribe, so thank you. <sighs> Y'all, I feel like all I did was talk, 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 talk. But it's okay. It's okay. I hope this video helped somebody. Word of encouragement. If you feel like God is not speaking to you, pray about it and then start to like sacrifice things. Like if God sees that you want to give up social media, he's going to see like your heart posture. Like, like God is going to see like how much you want to hear his voice and he might speak to you. So hopefully that makes sense y'all, but, um, have a blessed day probably won't be back on here until another month because that's just how it works i don't know why but it just does but yeah have a blessed day please subscribe watch my other videos um yeah and yeah i'm so tired